good morning students of class 3 students i'm sure all of you are safe in your home students please stay in your homes and keep yourself safe students today i'll be continuing with lesson 5 jack and the beanstalk so those of you who have got the new edition of wordsworth english reader book please take out your books and turn to page number 43 lesson 5 jack and the beanstalk turn to page number 43 and we'll be continuing with lesson 5 jack and the beanstalk students first of all i'm going to read the lesson for you so please listen to me carefully once upon a time there lived a poor woman who had a son named jack she was ill and jack was too young to work almost all their belongings had been sold to buy food there was nothing left worth selling they had an old cow named daisy whom they were very fond of one day jack's mother said jack go to the market and sell our cow or we shall have nothing to eat thus the next day with a heavy heart jack left for the market to sell their beloved daisy for some time he went along very sadly but on seeing the hustle bustle at the market he soon recovered his spirits he stood in a corner and started calling out who will buy my cow a few farmers looked at daisy and said oh the cow is too thin and old jack was disappointed as no one came forward to buy his cow however He met a farmer at last who looked over the cow and was eager to buy it. Jack asked him, "How much will you buy it for?" The farmer said, "I don't have any money, but I have a handful of magic beans. Would you like to exchange your cow for them?" At first, Jack thought that the farmer was joking. but the farmer had a kind expression on his face he said these are not ordinary beans they are the most wonderful beans that were ever known if you plant them tonight they'll grow up by tomorrow morning and reach the sky for some reason jack could not refuse the farmer and thus he sold the cow for a handful of beans Alas when he got home his mother was furious and she screamed you silly boy what shall we eat tonight angrily she threw the beans out of the house since there was no food to eat that night both the mother and son slept hungry jack woke up the next morning to find his room dark he jumped out of the bed and ran to the window to see what the matter was he observed that although the sun was shining brightly outside but beside his bedroom window there was a giant beanstalk which seemed to reach the sky he called out mother look at this giant beanstalk his mother came to the window and said of what use will this be to us chop it off we can use it as firewood but jack did not listen to his mother's words and thought i'll just see where it leads to with that thought he stepped out of the window and on to the beanstalk and began to climb upwards he climbed higher and higher till their cottage looked a mere speck below so children 
this was the lesson and in this lesson we have read that once upon a time there was a poor woman who lived with her son jack and the poor woman was ill so she could not earn money and her son was too small too young to work and earn money so it was very difficult for them to earn a living so what they had done they had sold all their belongings and whatever they had to buy food now there was nothing left with them that they could sell and get food and could get uh, food in return of those things now they were only left with one old cow which which was known as daisy they, they had only one old cow and jack and his mother they really liked that cow very much and the name of the cow was daisy jack and his mother really like the cow very much they were very fond of the cow but there was nothing else left in the house which could be sold and they could buy food from the thing which they had sold so one day jack's mother told jack that jack you go to the market and sell our cow and if you don't sell the cow we will have nothing to eat so next day jack was very sad because he was very much fond of daisy he liked the cow very much so he started for the market with the cow but he was very sad on the way he was feeling very unhappy because he didn't want to sell his beloved cow daisy but then he was left with no other option अगर वो काउ को बेचेंगे नहीं तो फिर वो खाएंगे क्या कुछ भी नहीं था उनके पास और बेचने के लिए सो फॉर सम टाइम ऑन द वे टू द मार्केट जैक वॉज वेरी सैड बट वेन ही रीच द मार्केट आन ही सॉ द हसल बसल एट द मार्केट आन वेन इन दैन जैक रीच द मार्केट वॉट डिड इज सी पीपल वर बाइंग थिंग्स पीपल वर सेलिंग थिंग्स लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स डिस्प्लेड a lot of noise and new things so jack forgot that he was sad and soon he became happy the beta jack market mein gaya raste mein to wo bahut sad tha he was very sad because he was going to sell his beloved cow daisy but the moment he reached the market aur market ke jab usne noise dekhi lights dekhi aur chehal pehal dekhi that is the hustle bustle so he was happy again so what did he do he stood in a corner of the market and started shouting who will buy my cow so when the farmers they heard jack shouting that who will buy my cow they came uh, near him and when they looked at the cow they said oh the cow is too thin and old ki gai to bahut hi patli and old bhi hai so nobody would like to buy a thin and old cow because now the cow will uh, will be of no use to them so jack was very sad that nobody was willing to buy his cow but then suddenly he met a farmer who wanted to buy the old cow the farmer he looked at the old cow daisy carefully and then he was ready to buy jack's cow so jack asked him ki how much money will you give me in return of this cow so what did the farmer say the farmer told jack that i don't have any money i cannot give you any money for this cow but instead i've got some magical beans handful of mag magical beans what did the farmer have he had some magical beans and he told jack that i can exchange these magical beans you give me the cow and in return i'll give you the magic beans so first jack thought that he was joking but when jack looked at his face carefully he could see that the farmer was a kind person and he was giving a kind look so uh, but jack was still confused ki uh, he, uh, 
he will give the cow in return of a handful of beans so the farmer told jack that the beans were no ordinary beans the beans were magical beans they were wonderful and if you sow them tonight and by morning they'll grow up and they'll grow up so huge and tall that they'll touch the sky the farmer told jack that they are no ordinary beans they are wonderful magical beans and in the night if you uh, sow these beans and by morning they will turn into a huge bean stalk which will touch the sky somehow jack could not say no to the farmer he could not refuse the farmer so what he did he gave his cow daisy to the farmer and in return of the cow what did he get a handful of magic beans now what happened when jack he returned home his mother was made waiting for jack mother was waiting for her son jack that when jack will return he uh, will get money uh, after selling the cow and from that money he will buy food and they will have something to eat but when she came to know that jack sold the cow for a handful of beans she was extremely angry she was extremely angry she was very angry and she shouted at jack that how silly how foolish jack could uh, was that he sold the cow for a handful of beans and naturally any mother will shout at a son because she thought that jack was fooled by the farmer the farmer took the cow and just gave him a handful of beans which were of no use to jack and his mother now because they didn't get any money so they uh, were not having any food so out of anger what did jack's mother do she threw the beans out of the window in anger what did jack's mother do she threw the beans out of the window and since there was no money to buy food so that night jack and his mother both had to sleep hungry both of them were hungry but there was no money to buy food so dono ko beta raat mein bhooke hi sona pada because jack ne to cow ko kiske exchange mein de diya tha handful of magical beans now jack went to sleep so when in the morning jack got up what did he see he was surprised that though it was morning but his room was dark he jumped out of his bed he immediately left his bed and went to see near the window he what the matter was he asked the son was shouting but how come his room was dark there was no light coming to his room what did he see out of the window he saw that the sun was shining brightly outside but besides his bedroom window there was a big bean stalk giant bean stalk and which was so huge that it was touching the sky it seemed as if it was touching the sky beta wo itna bada bean stalk ho gaya tha ki aisa lag raha tha ki wo aasman sky tak pahunch gaya hai generally uh, seeds take time to grow hai na they take at least uh many days to grow and become a plant but here what had happened overnight only the seeds had germinated and turned into a huge bean stalk plant which seemed to touch the sky so out of excitement jack called his mother he wanted to show his mother that look look at this giant bean stalk how huge this bean stalk is and his mother also came to the window and then she uh, when she looked at the bean stalk her reaction was that that this bean stalk is of no use to uh, is of no use for us that bean stalk is of no use for us so it's better if you chop it off he she told jack isko kaat do aur jo lakdi hogi iske usse hum firewood firewood uh, is what beta जो चूल्हा होता है ना जिसमें लकड़ी पे खाना बनता है तो वो जो चूल्हा जलाने के लिए लकड़ी यूज होती है उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं फायरवुड वुड विच इज यूज टू बर्न फायर 
वो लकड़ी जो फायर बर्न करने के लिए यूज की जाती है उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं फायर वुड सो दे कुड यूज द वुड टू लिट फायर टू कुक फूड और टू कीप देम सेल्फ वॉर्म इन विंटर सीजन सो शी टोल्ड जैट दैट दिस बीन स्टॉक इज ऑफ नो यूज फॉर अस यू चॉप इट ऑफ एंड वी कैन यूज द वुड एज फायर वुड बट जैट डिड नॉट लिसन टू हिस मदर्स वर्ड बट जैट he did not listen to what his mother told him he was just seeing get the where this beanstalk is leading where it is going so thinking that what did he do he jumped out of the window onto the beanstalk and he started climbing upwards towards the sky beta wo विंडो से ही जम डॉन द बीन स्टॉक एंड वो ऊपर ही ऊपर ऊपर ही ऊपर ही स्टार्टेड क्लाइंबिंग बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड टू सी वेर दिस बीन स्टॉक इज लीडिंग वेर इट इज गोइंग एंड ही क्लाइंब हायर एंड हायर हायर एंड हायर एंड ही रीच सच अ प्लेस फ्रॉम वेर हिज कॉटेज वॉज लुकिंग वेरी स्मॉल अब बेटा वो इतने ऊपर पहुंच गया था कि उसको वहां से अपना कॉटेज जो है बहुत छोटा सा नन्ना सा दिखाई दे रहा था सो दिस वॉज द चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी जैक एंड द बीन स्टॉक एंड इन इन लेसन नंबर सिक्स वी रीड कि आफ्टर दिस व्हाट डज जैक सीज व्हेन ही रीच इज द टॉप सो फॉर इन लेसन फाइव द स्टोरी इज दैट कि जैक ही सोल्ड इज काउ इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ a handful of beans and in the morning uh, the beans which his mother had thrown out of the window they had grown into a giant bean stalk which had which almost looked like that it was touching the sky so jack he climbed the bean stalk to see as to where it was leading and he started climbing and climbing and he reached uh, so high that from that height his house was looking like a small tiny little speck so children this was the story now let's go through the word meanings then i'll start with the exercise children the first new word is belongings and belongings means possession jo cheez आपको बिलोंग करती है वो आपकी बिलोंगिंग है या आपकी पोजेशन है कि सर्टन थिंग्स बिलोंग्स टू हु बिलोंगिंग्स पोजेशन बिलोंगिंग्स पोजेशन द सेकेंड वर्ड इज चिल्ड्रन वर्थ वर्थ मीन्स ऑफ एनी वैल्यू विच इज गॉट स वैल्यू वर्थ ऑफ एनी वैल्यू देन चिल्ड्रन द थर्ड वर्ड इज बिलवड एंड बिलवड मीन्स डियरली लव समथिंग विच यू आर रियली fond of you really love that thing fourth word is hustle bustle and hustle bustle a large amount of noise and activity generally we see hustle bustle in the market we see hustle bustle during the break time lot of activity lot of noise in the school so you can see that hustle bustle then the fifth word is eager and eager means excited eager means excited then children the sixth word is exchange and exchange means interchange exchange means interchange then the seventh word is refuse and refuse means to say no refuse to say no the eighth word is furious and furious means very angry furious means very angry then the ninth word is giant and giant means huge extremely big giant huge the 10th word is cottage and cottage means a small house cottage a small house then the 11th word is mere and mere means only mere means only and children the 12th word the last word is speck and speck means small mark or small piece small mark or small piece now children there are certain phrases also given let's look at the meaning of the phrases children <clears throat> the first phrase is with a heavy heart with a heavy heart means unhappily with a heavy heart unhappily 
with a heavy heart unhappily the next phrase children is recovered his spirits means was happy again recovered his spirits means was happy again when jack looked at the hustle bustle of the market he soon recovered his spirits that means jack was sad when he was going to the market he was sad because he was going to sell his beloved cow daisy but when he reached the market when he saw the hustle bustle he was soon happy again he soon recovered his spirits so to recover his spirits means was happy again then children the third <coughs> phrase is looked over looked over means look carefully the farmer when they came to buy the cow they looked over the cow carefully they looked carefully at the cow now children the fourth phrase is had a kind expression had a kind expression means looked with tenderness looked with kindness <coughs> now children i'll start with the exercises exercise 1 answer the following sentences in yes or no the pdf copy is not very clear children but i have tried to read it the first question is and in this children you need to uh, write the answer simply in yes or no just one word answer the first question is was jack's mother a healthy woman children was jack's mother a healthy woman was she very healthy was she perfectly all right could she work no the answer is no and in the lesson we have read that jack's mother was a sick lady she was not keeping well she was not keeping well she was ill so answer will be no was jack's mother a healthy woman answer no was jack's mother a healthy woman answer no children the second question is did jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food kya beta jack aur uski mother ne apne sara saman jitni bhi unki belongings hai wo sell kar diya tha to buy food yes the answer is yes in the last they had also sold that beloved cow daisy whom they were very fond of so did jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food answer is yes did jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food answer is yes now children the third question was jack happy on reaching the market on the way he was very sad because he was going to sell his beloved cow daily but then what happened when he reached the market he forgot that he had come to sell his cow because he was busy looking at the noise and activities going on in the market and then he soon stood in a corner and started shouting who will buy my cow who will buy my cow so on the way he was sad that he was going to sell his beloved cow daisy so was jack happy on reaching the market yes he was happy when he saw the hustle bustle of the market he recovered his spirits he became happy so was jack happy on reaching the market answer is yes on reaching the market he uh, looking at the hustle bustle of the market he recovered his spirits and became happy again so the answer will be yes children the fourth question did the farmers at the market like daisy because she was young and fat so when jack was shouting who will buy my cow the farmer came near the cow and looked carefully at the cow so what did they find was the cow young and fat so they the farmers like because the cow was young and fat no in fact daisy was a thin and an old cow so answer would be no did the farmers at the market like daisy because she was young and fat answer would be no because daisy was a thin and a old cow 
Now question number 5. Did Jack refuse to sell his cow to the farmer for a handful of magic beans? Did Jack refuse the farmer who was offering a handful of magic beans in return of the cow? Answer is no. Jack could not refuse him because when he saw the uh, kind expression on his face, Jack couldn't refuse the farmer. He couldn't say no to the farmer and he exchanged his cow for a handful of magic beans. So, the question is, did Jack refuse to sell his cow to the farmer for a handful of magic beans? So, the answer is no. Now, children, the sixth question. Was Jack's mother angry at him when Jack he reached the home uh, with a handful of beans? So was his mother angry at him? Yes, his mother was extremely angry. She was furious. So was Jack's mother angry at him? Answer is yes. Was Jack's mother angry at him? Answer is yes. Now question number seven. Was Jack's room dark in the morning because the giant beanstalk had covered the sun? Was Jack's room in the morning when Jack, Jack woke up, he saw that his room was dark. No light was coming in the room from the window. So, was the room dark? Yes. Why the room was dark? Because the giant beanstalk had grown so tall that it was blocking the light of the sun entering Jack's room. So, answer would be yes. Was Jack's room dark in the morning because giant beanstalk had covered the sun? Answer is yes. Now, the last question children. Did Jack listen to his mother's words and chop the beanstalk? When his mother looked uh, out of the window and when Jack showed her the beanstalk, she told him that chop it off. So did Jack listen to his mother because his mother wanted the beanstalk to be chopped off so that she can use it as firewood. So did Jack listen to his mother words and did he chop the beanstalk? Answer is no. Jack did not listen to his mother's words. Rather he was wondering that what till where the beanstalk was leading. So he climbed on the beanstalk to see where the beanstalk is leading. So did Jack listen to his mother words and chop the beanstalk? Answer is no, he did not chop. Rather he climbed the beanstalk to see where it was going. So I Students, the PDF copy is not clear. So let's Read it from the notes. Comprehension exercise A. Answer the following questions in yes or no. Question 1. Was Jack's mother a healthy woman? Students in the story, we have read that she was a poor woman who was ill. So, she could not earn a living. So, was Jack's mother a healthy woman? Answer no. Was Jack's mother a healthy woman? Answer no. She was ill. Was Jack's mother a healthy woman? Answer no. Now children, question number two. Did Jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food? Did Jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food? Beta kya unhone apne sare belongings sell kar diye the? To buy food? Answer is yes. The last thing they had left was with the cow Daisy whom they were very fond of and that also Jack had interchanged for a handful of magic beans. So answer will be yes. Did Jack and his mother sell all their belongings to buy food? Answer is yes. Now children, the third question. Was Jack happy on reaching the market? Initially, when he was going to sell his cow, on the way, he was very unhappy and sad because he was going to sell his beloved cow. But the moment he reached the market and when he saw the hustle bustle of the market, he recovered his spirits again. So, 
recovered spirits again means he was happy again so was jack happy on reaching the market answer is yes jack was happy on reaching the market question number 4 did the farmers at the market like daisy because she was young and fat did the farmers like daisy because she was young and fat no in fact nobody was coming forward to buy daisy because she was old and thin she was not young and fat she was old and thin so answer will be no did the farmers at the market like daisy because she was young and fat answer is no daisy was in fact old and thin question number 5 children Did Jack refuse to sell his cow to the farmer for a handful of magic beans? Did Jack refuse the farmer? No, Jack did not refuse the farmer. He had interchanged his cow for a handful of beans. So, did Jack refuse to sell his cow to the farmer for a handful of magic beans? Answer is no. Then, question number six. Was Jack's mother angry at him when Jack returned home with a handful of beans? Was Jack's mother angry at him? Yes, she was furious. She was extremely angry at Jack. That why did he exchange the cow for a handful of beans? Because now they are they were not having any money. So how could they buy food? So they had to sleep hungry also that night. So was Jack's mother Jack's mother angry at him? Answer is. Yes was Jack's mother angry at him answer is yes now question number 7 children was Jack's room dark in the morning because the giant beanstalk had covered the sun in the morning when Jack woke up his room was dark because the giant beanstalk had covered the sun is it uh, yes or no yes because Jack jumped out of the bed when He saw no light in this room. He was wondering that why his room is dark. So he wanted to see from the window that what was the reason. And when he saw, what did he see? When he saw outside the window, what did he see? He saw that the giant beanstalk had covered the light of the sun entering his room. So answer is yes. Was Jack's room dark in the morning because the giant beanstalk had covered the sun? Answer is yes. Now children. the eighth question did jack listen to his mother's words and chop the beanstalk when jack uh, uh, called his mother when he saw the giant beanstalk that mother look how huge this giant beanstalk is so what does his mother uh, tell him his mother told him that chop the beanstalk so that they could use the wood of the beanstalk as firewood but did jack listen to her and did he uh, chop the beanstalk answer is no jack jack did not chop the beanstalk because he was wondering that it it has uh, grown so tall and where it was reaching he wanted to find out so he climbed up onto the beanstalk ignoring his mother's words so question the jack listened to his mother's words and chopped the beanstalk answer is no answer is no so students please complete the wow words word meaning and exercise a that is answer the following questions in yes or no in your english notebook that's all for today children have a good day